Charles D'Angelo, a celebrity weight loss coach, is here. Please welcome weight loss coach Charles D'Angelo to the show. <laughs> And Charles D'Angelo joins me now. Charles, welcome. Thanks so much. Good to Thanks see you. So much. With us now is Charles D'Angelo. Boss coach Charles D'Angelo is here. Charles is with us today in the audience. Charles, great to have you back on the show. Brian Kilmeade here, bringing you the latest here on Kilmeade and Friends. I'm very excited about this hour. Charles D'Angelo will be with us. Vowed to turn his life around. Charles D'Angelo is here. He's Charles right. D'Angelo. Charles, you have endorsements from everyone from Bill Clinton to Richard Simmons. A man here that knows a thing or two about making changes in your life. Well, he is thin, he's strong, and he's helping other people in their battle with weight loss. So we've sent her to fitness expert Charles D'Angelo for some help. All right, let's go to the wall where Charles is standing by. You turned your life around, and in four short years, you were in Cosmopolitan magazine, <laughs> Uh, and they described you as a shirtless sweetheart. Only one thing stops you from achieving your goals, and that's fear. You all have something great within you. You have a purpose. It's not my purpose. It's not your buddy's purpose, and only you can fulfill that purpose. Yeah. 105 pounds less. Fantastic. Yeah. I uh, hooked up with a guy named Charles D'Angelo. Mm -hmm. I'm sure as doctors, you guys know, compared to 1974, the amount of overweight children compared to that year is up 258%. Yeah, yeah. It, it's unacceptable. It and really what is. we love is that you're actually paying it forward. And, uh, with the help of uh, a great weight loss coach by the name of Charles D'Angelo. I've lost 106 pounds working with Charles D'Angelo. At my highest, I was 308 pounds. I very much enjoy eating. I still do now. I just know how to eat correctly. What you're going to have for a snack, what you're going to have for lunch, we're going to set up a cardio program so that you know exactly what to do there. My motto is take charge. There's no excuse to be unhealthy and unhappy. Uh, and the point I'm making is simple, is that if you're willing to look at everything that happens that's hard in your life as an opportunity for you to grow from, life will become a wonderful experience. But you've got to find the meaning in things, guys. So he was very relatable, and I felt like uh, the power that he was able to get from uh, some of the inspirational people in his life really came through and really made a, was, a, was a good challenge for us to be more inspirational for the students that we touch. What are the things that you're excited about? Is it getting off a of medication? Is it being able to walk from your car to the curb without getting out of breath? It can be that simple. Until you get your mindset where it needs to be, you continue to run a cycle of repeating the past. Diet was the answer. Why are there so many people that have the problem that they have? And I realized that if I wasn't going to take charge of my health, I may not even live to see my high school graduation. Yeah, Charles, my food meter, he told me the little story of his life how he changed his body. Well, share that with you. Because many people that come to see me, no matter if they're a national level politician, or they're a teenager, or they're a stay-at-home mom, they struggle with having to make the decisions day to day. So tip one, replace spontaneity with strategy. You shouldn't only be excited about the outcome, but of who you become because of the outcome you set. You don't have to accept any limitation. My clients lost a total of 15,000 pounds in one year. Some lost 240 pounds in one year. But I love you. I want you to turn to the person next to you. I want you to say, I challenge you. Right now, say it. I challenge you.